meteorologist Molly Bernard is here. And fortunately, this storm system is starting to move out, but those imp uh, those snow totals are pretty impressive. They are in some places more than 10 inches of snow. And if you're looking at totals, you're seeing different values in one city. It's because some people taking measurements on an elevated surface, say a deck or maybe a patio table. But if you take it on the ground, on the concrete, it melted for a long time yesterday evening because the ground is so warm. So I've seen totals in Milwaukee anywhere from seven inches to 10 inches. That's why we have a range of totals just in one city, but we have a big range of totals and some impressive totals across southeastern Wisconsin. The snow moved in yesterday evening. We continue to see snow during the morning commute. Howard's Grove, 10 and a half inches, just over 10 inches is the official total so far at Milwaukee's airport. Over nine and a half in Eagle, nine and a half in Racine, 9.1 in Sullivan, seven and a half in Johnson Creek, Waukesha, Menominee Falls, 6.1 in Oconomowoc, Hubertus close to six inches, five in Mayville and Fond du Lac. That is a wide range of totals. The good news, no more snowfall expected. Well, there's a little bit of light snow around, but we shouldn't see any more accumulation. It's this area shaded in purple on this graphic. That's where we really saw a lot more moisture than we expected. I meant the snow totals were a little higher than we anticipated as well. Also, northern portions of Sheboygan County picked up a little bit more snow as well. Now we're just left with a few flurries and actually in some places the sun is starting to come out this afternoon. We'll see partly cloudy skies or mostly cloudy skies through most of the day today. 34 degrees in Waukesha. This is our camera out at Carroll University. Earlier this morning, this tree was completely covered in snow. It's nice to see that a lot of it has fallen off. That's going to help the weight load of those branches. Sidewalks. Most streets looking OK, still slushy and snow covered in some places. 36 degrees in Milwaukee. This is our camera out at Discovery World. These roads completely snow covered early this morning. They are looking much, much better. Temperatures are not going to change too much as we head through the rest of the day today. And the road here in Brookfield from our camera at Jilly's Car Wash also looking OK. So a nice change from what we saw earlier. Temperature is hovering close to 35, 36 degrees for the rest of the day today. It will be breezy. Temperatures fall into the low 30s and 20s overnight tonight, but we are not done with snow just yet. Snow is moving out right now. We'll be cloudy, cool and breezy this afternoon. Cloudy, cool and dry tomorrow. Then Saturday night into Sunday, there is another chance for some snow right now. It looks like we could pick up a few inches. Still a little early for details on that system, but the good news if you're headed to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in downtown Milwaukee tomorrow, no issues. It is going to be a little bit chilly temperatures hanging out in the mid 30s, wind chills hanging out in the 20s, but not too bad for a St. Patrick's Day Parade and it'll be dry. So dry tomorrow. Snow chances are back Saturday night into Sunday. Today still an alert day. Slick conditions across southeastern Wisconsin and a lot of power outages. Mid 30s as we head through this weekend. Also, it's been a busy morning. We haven't talked about it too much. Daylight saving time. You got to spring your clocks forward early Sunday morning. Chance for snow on Sunday. We're dry Monday and Tuesday, warmer Wednesday and Thursday. You know why we haven't been talking about daylight saving time? It's been a little snowy. Because we're not springing. For, how are we springing forward well, and we true. got heavy, wet snow? <laughs> nah, my goodness, it does not feel like it spring. Does, it doesn't look like it. It either. doesn't look like it, it looks either. It's like Christmas outside. <laughs> it does. It does. But don't forget to set your clocks forward. Yes. Uh, Sunday morning at 2 a.m. Yep. Molly, thank you. We lose you. an hour of sleep. Um, well, you just come Sorry. on. Come on. We got to get it up Bring on a Friday morning. It looks nice outside. Uh,